Africa's can lion hunting industry is in the crosshairs of U.S. government officials. After new legislation was passed that lists African lions as endangered species. The bill bans the importing of lion trophies into the U.S., potentially stifling the local can hunting market, where wealthy American hunters can pay up to $75,000 to kill a prized lion. The decision was greeted with cautious optimism. It's a good gesture, uh, it really is, but um, it remains to be seen if it is actually going to work. Um, you know, it's very broad, um, it covers lines from specific areas, um, and it has certain uh, rules, etc., that can be bent, can be twisted, and that's what worries us. There are over 8,000 captive bred lions in 200 can hunting facilities in South Africa all awaiting the same fate as Cecil the lion. While the legislation effectively discourages wealthy Americans from taking part in canned lion hunts locally, South African legislation is also needed to act in congruence in tackling the problem. There are possible loopholes in the document um, which can be exploited and that is a worry to us. Breeding for lions for can hunting, it's got to be stopped. Um, and the relevant um, sort of people responsible, the government's responsible, have to actually um, make a move and, and, and make it work. There is though a broad consensus that the days of can lion hunts are numbered in the court of public opinion and that the new legislation is part of a broader movement to outlaw the inhumane practice once and for all. Representative Andrews, CCTV, Cape Town.